Hello guys, this is Mike from MacProgramming.org. In this tutorial, we're going to start really digging into the I.O. and we are going to learn how to write to a text file with the print writer object. So let me start this off for you. And the way we do this is first we would need to declare a string variable that represents a uh, text file. So the way we can do that is say string and we'll say file name. And usually if you you have two words together, for in a variable name at least, keep the first word lowercase and the second and all following uh, beginning letters of words are capitalized. So make sure that's a capital N. You don't have to, but for if somebody else is checking your code, that's what Java people are pretty used to and a lot of other computer programming concepts. So we can put the file name we want to write to right here. And we're just going to say... Uh, let's say 10 lines dot text because I'm going to print out 10 lines to the to this file okay we could have just as easily have put this in the constructor of the print writer but it's easier to deal with the variable name so you if you need to reference it you just keep using file name so now we need to create the print writer object and we can do it all in one line but that's not the best way to do it and I'm going to show you why I'm going to say print writer and I'll just say uh, writer equals new print writer and in its parameters it takes in the file that it's writing to so we're going to say file name all right and this file may or may not exist already but it's still going to write to it and if there is a file that's named that it will overwrite it so make sure that you're not creating a file that already exists with very important information on it or you're going to lose everything so this serves a try catch block right here and that's why I want to show you that you shouldn't write this all in one line because now if I wanted to call the writer anything from this uh, writer object I can't do that it's out of scope and what scope means is the scope of file name is within the, the brackets that are right above it so file name can only be used up until this point right here and now print writer the writer variable can only be used in between these two things so the way to get around that is to say print writer writer and set it to null for now and we'll instantiate it within this try catch so the try catch will do its job but we can also use the writer object right here so writer dot print line whatever you want to use is available okay so let's make 10 lines of text because that's what the name of the file is we're gonna make a for loop we're gonna say for int let's just say count equals one we're gonna start at one this time and we're gonna go while uh, count is less than or equal to 10 so that way it will go one through ten and we will say count plus plus and all we're going to do instead of saying system.out.println the system.out like I said earlier goes to the console where when I say writer the variable name for the stream it's going to send it to this file that we passed in right here so 10 lines.txt so all I have to do is say writer.println and still have the same print line and print methods and we can write whatever we want but it's going to be sent to that file we're going to say line and we'll just add count right here okay that's very simple and after that something very important you also need to realize is there's uh, two ways to close the stream is with the stream it's not going to print out um, sequentially step by step it's going to send a lot of this information to or all of the information to a buffer and once that buffer gets full it spits out everything within it onto the file and then it'll collect some more information until it's full and it'll keep doing that and that way it it helps the computer and makes it more efficient so it, it's doing everything at once instead of constantly uh, printing things out 
And the reason for that, like I said, is for efficiency. But the problem is, is if we don't close this stream, a lot of information, maybe even all of it, will not get printed to the file. I've had that happen before where I thought I wrote a, a very long text file. I was about to turn in a project, actually, and no, it was not working. Nothing was getting printed out, and it was just because of one line of code, and that was writer.close. So make sure you close your streams. Very important. If you're working on at a job, um, you can get in a lot of trouble just for these two words right there. And there's also another function that you could do if you wanted to, writer.flush, and that flushes everything that's inside that buffer out. But by default, writer.close, I believe, calls the flush method already and then closes the stream. So let's see what happens when we run this file. All right, well, nothing will happen here because we're not printing out to the console. But if you go over to this print writer, and we hit refresh, which is F5. You see, we get 10 lines.txt down here. You open that up, and there is our file. So that's the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to get into what a file writer is, and that is a, a neat little class that will allow us to append to a file that already exists. Because, like I said, the print writer class, you can you can only write to it once. If I try to write you know recall this test class it's going to erase everything from the ten lines.txt and write over it with whatever I decide to put so that's pretty dangerous so I'm gonna show you a safe way to make sure you don't delete previous text thank you all for watching